Hello, everyone. It is with great pride and pleasure that I welcome you to the 2021 International Women's Day event. My name is Dr. Oluremi Adewale. I am a healthcare practitioner in Canada with over 20 years of experience. It is with humility that I present myself to you as the CEO and president of Women Focus Canada, the organization hosting this event. First, I would like to thank the almighty God for this great opportunity to celebrate with other women worldwide. I would also like to take a moment to recognize those who have contributed to make this event a success. The Women Focus Canada directors, the work group members, the committee members and volunteers, the donors, the speakers, entertainers and moderators, and of course, you that are participating with us today, the today's participants, I thank you. Thank you for joining us on this great day to celebrate women around the world. I wish to start by recognizing how difficult the past year has been for people all over the world. The COVID-19 pandemic has impacted the whole world. I would like to take a moment to thank our essential workers and healthcare heroes for sacrificing their lives on the front lines to help us all safe and healthy. Women all over the world have gone through different challenges, ranging from injustice to inequality and intersectionality between race, class, and gender. Despite this, women are constantly adapting, embracing the opportunities that come with these challenges. This year is extra special to us because we are all able to come together and celebrate our womanhood despite the pandemic. We do not dwell on the challenges, but this is the time to celebrate and recognize us as inspirational women. As we kick off the celebrations, we look ahead to a future where the possibilities are limitless. A future where women continue to push the boundaries every day, at home, in the workplace, in leadership, and countless other places. It is this spirit that inspires Women Focus Canada vision to discover, learn, empower, and inspire lives. This vision is not only just for us in Canada, but for you women all over the world. This vision is born out of a need to discover ourselves to learn from one another, to empower one another, and to continue to inspire other women and girls. Daily, we come across examples of women who embed us this vision. Today, we celebrate some of these powerful women that have paved the way for us. These women whose shoulders we stand on, Women without whom inspiration, we will not be here today. Women like Angola Marco, the first female chancellor of Germany who is serving her fourth term. Women like Jadisin Ardin, the prime minister of New Zealand and the New Zealand's youngest female prime minister. Of course, our very own Dr. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala, the first woman and first African to be elected as Director General of World Trade Organization. We acknowledge 
the work these women have carried out to pave the way for the next generation of women and girls. However, there is still much more remains to be done. According to recent studies, women continue to be paid only 80% of what their male counterparts earn for the same job. Despite more women graduating with advanced degrees, we only hold 25% of vice president positions and only 15% of CEO positions. Women are significantly underrepresented in leadership positions, especially in the public and private sectors. Much research is needed on how to effectively increase and maintain the numbers of women in leadership positions, especially for women who experience injustice arising from intersectionality such as women of color and women with disabilities. I today encourage you to think about how we can create space for more women to come to, be, to the table, to learn and grow together to make meaningful impacts in our communities. We can support women in leadership through many ways, through opportunities for leadership training, confidence building, decision making, networking and critical thinking. So let us commit to helping one another and to mentoring girls and women. I would like to extend a big thank you to all the men who are allies in supporting us to achieve our goals. For me, being part of a movement that is committed to celebrating and supporting girls and women is a phenomenal experience. I would like to end my speech today with a quote from Dr. Maya Angelou. She said, each time a woman stands up for herself without knowing it possibly Without claiming it, she stands up for all women. <laughs>